Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am finally back with some more videos. I haven't actually posted since like January, maybe even December, which is so bad. Really not my own choice. Well, I mean, it's my own choice, but I wanted to post. Second year of uni and second term has honestly hit like a ton of bricks. I spoke to my supervisor about it and she said a lot of her students also felt the same. But you know, there's nothing we can really do, is there? Just had to get on with it. And it, to be honest, it did not leave a lot of spare time to make videos. So it's Monday today and this week is the final week of uh, second term. So I'm really looking forward to having a bit of a break, but that can't happen yet because <laughs> there's still a ton of work to do in, in this last week. And then also two assessments, which will all be handed in and finished in two weeks time. So I think after two weeks, then I can finally chill. But anyway, today I thought I would just run through with you what I've been doing day to day from home because I am, yeah, at home at the moment and show you sort of like my uni from home routine. But yeah, we have a big day ahead of us. There is a project that me and Lucy are working on at the moment. It is huge. It is really hard. Basically, it's like writing a scientific report as if we've done an experiment. It's on flies, like a mutation in a fly and seeing how that affects synapse function. If anyone was interested, which you probably were. I cannot wait to hand it in like the feeling when you've handed some work in it's just such relief and I'm really looking forward to that feeling I am actually heading back to York on Sunday which I'm really looking forward to and I'm also vlogging that trip back and also going to be vlogging in York uh, so I'm finally going to be back with the videos which is going to be great but for now it's Monday it's currently 10 o'clock normally I do start a bit earlier but I don't know I've just had a bit of a slow start today which happens so that's fine yeah the first thing that I actually do on a Monday is I have this notepad and I just like to get everything down that I have to do that week. So I would log on to the VLE site, which is just the Uni of York's website where it has all your work and information on it. And you get your list of all your modules there. And then if you click onto a module, it'll tell you what you've got to do that week. So yeah, I just like to make a list and get everything down on paper. And hopefully then I won't miss anything and it can sort of like structure my week a little bit because I think that's something people struggle with when like working from home and stuff, there's not really a set routine. I'm gonna do that now and then we'll start some work. Yay, fun. <laughs> So with it being the last week of term, there's actually not as much as normal on, which is really good to be honest, because I am quite behind on lectures. Over Easter, we do have four weeks off. So I am sort of feeling like it's gonna be okay because I can just spend that time catching up. But yeah, in the last week, we tend to have like a lot of Q and A's and workshops. So you can go and ask any questions about the content in the Q and A's and then in workshops, they like to go through like exam questions and stuff. So it'll help you with your revision. I'm just gonna crack on with immunology lecture 18. And before we start, right, I'm just having a quick break, got a bit more ready. I thought I would use this time to show you some of the things that I have ordered recently just because. At the moment, it's really bad. Like, I don't actually think it's good for me, but I'm kind of addicted to shopping. <laughs> and literally everything I'm seeing on TikTok is like Zara haul, ASOS haul, Shein haul. <laughs> but yeah, I've also ordered some stuff off Pretty Little Thing. One set. They had like a sale and oh my gosh, I got dresses for £3. Like, yes. So first up with Pretty Little Thing. I got these. I wasn't really sure if I was going to keep them. They're quite like big shorts, which I've never really gone for before, but I know like the baggy look is kind of it. So yeah, they are a tiny bit big and I have to roll them up a little bit, but I kind of like how they look. I just need like a nice black top that sort of goes over them a bit. And then the dresses, like I'm just so happy with them. This was three pounds. Look at the colors, like so cute, like loads of different brown colors and then you can tie the front together. Yeah, I just love it. And you can wear like a white t-shirt underneath. That's what the girl on Pretty Little Thing had it with. And then this as well, this was five pounds but it's just a lilac simple mini dress with a split i just love this lilac color i think it goes well with like dark hair so i've also got some stuff from shein as well because you know how i love shein absolutely love this top i think it's just so wearable with lots of different things and it's got like this keyhole thing and you put it over your head i just thought it was really good basic summer top to have and it goes really well with these trousers which i'm in love with 
They are long, wide leg, like ribbed, cool, like suit kind of looking trousers. Uh, this top I thought was gonna be really cute, but actually doesn't fit me, which is such a shame, but it's like one of those cut out tops, but it's just quite a big gap really. And I thought it'd just be a bit exposed. Um, this jumper I've had so much wear out of. It just goes with everything and it's warm, so it's lovely. Um, I also got these flares, which are just like ribbed knit and they're kind of like cream beige color. Yeah, just really comfy to like lounge in as well. I have been obsessed with like the look of denim jeans that are like baggy and long at the bottom i think they're called like dad jeans i thought i would get some from shein but unfortunately they don't fit i was actually gutted and um, but i'm still on the search for some so if anyone knows where i can get them let me know they're a size small so i'm not really sure but they are absolutely huge like look at that and then the final thing that i'll be showing you is this satin red dress i don't know what possessed me to get this like i don't really have an occasion for this but i'm hoping i will soon i just thought it was really pretty and like ruched and you can change which size it is okay enough of the hauls now i need to get back to work so i'm just gonna call lucy now and do a little bit more of the project if you are struggling with like motivation it is quite a good idea to have like zoom on and you're with a friend you're both just doing work because it's just like you're kind of with each other and you can motivate each other it's also nice to just like have a chat as well also i'm sure i'm not the only person that's struggling with this but since studying has become online i find myself staring at computers literally all day and i get big headaches and also like headaches up here like on my eyebrow but since i've got some glasses that block you and protect you from blue light from screens honestly my headaches have really cleared up and it's become a lot easier to concentrate and do some work i got these from amazon from a company called vision protect and you can kind of see they have like a little bit of a yellow tint basically when you're on your iphone if you put sh night shift mode on it like tints the screen yellow well this is basically doing that 24 7 protecting your eyes from screen light i've also learned because i'm doing biomed that artificial blue screen light stops you from falling asleep as quickly at night so you could also find that trying these improve your sleep but they have been proven to reduce headaches migraines and eye strain definitely worth an investment these were 17 pounds from vision protect and they also came with this cute little case so they don't get damaged if you are struggling with migraines i would recommend giving these a try okay now it's time to do work <laughs> Right, what is the plan today? Okay, so today yeah. we're gonna just chat for about an hour, <laughs> just like mess around. And then we're gonna book a holiday, maybe like think about that. What we're actually gonna do is we're doing like little legends, which are descriptions of like graphs for our project. And then we are starting to write it up. Right, we've had enough for now. Yeah. It's lunchtime. It does get to the point where it's just like, we don't really know what we're doing and we're just trying to research it and it just takes ages <laughs> but it's time to have a break and get some lunch um try and get a healthy lunch but i'm really hungry so we'll see so it turned out pretty healthy yay also on netflix um i've been watching Shit's creek which is really like a nice feel good i'm literally obsessed with modern family by the way if anyone's seen it it's just so funny like it's nowhere near similar Shit's creek but it's that level of like funny and easy to watch feel good kind of thing recommend watching that if you need something new to watch okay so it's about one o'clock now i'm just gonna sit down and finish off that lecture that i was doing this morning um i've actually been using this app i've been using it like ever since like a levels and it's called forest it stops you from going on your phone for an hour and you can like grow trees it's kind of silly but <laughs> it works for me i'm gonna do forest for like 45 minutes i feel like that's quite a enough like that point i can't really do anymore and then just have like a quick little break and then might do some more forests so <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> That's 45 minutes up. I'm gonna go on a run now because the weather isn't too bad. I've been trying to do some runs every week to stay a bit fit because hopefully we'll be going back to playing football soon. So yeah, that is my plan. And I also have a little recommendation as well. If you're wanting to go on runs around where you live, I use an app called Map My Run, I think it's called. It's by Under Armour. It basically like suggests routes that people near you have done around your like area. So you can like go and follow their route and stuff. So it's quite cool. Let's get out. I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I've not even run yet. <laughs>
So I'm back from my run now. I've just had a shower and feeling a bit more fresh and ready to do another chunk. I don't want to, but I will. So what I'm going to do now is forest for an hour and I'm going to spend my time reading old scientific papers so I can understand how they're like writing reports and what language they use. And then I can hopefully start writing mine tomorrow and Lucy as well. So yeah, I'm sure you can tell I'm really ecstatic about this. So I'm going to end the video here because I don't think you need enough time lapse of me working. I'm going to be vlogging my trip back up to York on Sunday so hopefully you can watch out for that. But thanks for watching this. I will see you soon with another video. Bye!